welcome to Wise Kong Driving Channel. Seems like 2019 is going to be very, very interesting year for car buyers. Yeah, late in 2019, Toyota introduced the Toyota Rush. Basically, that is a 1.5 liter uh, two wheel drive SUV, compact size, and then we have the Proton X70 which was launched just at the Klimt Motor Show and uh, previewed there and then afterwards it was launched at a uh, price of uh, between 99,000 and 123,000 four variants. The rush is between 93 to 97,000 or 92 to 97,000 and then now we have the Arus, which is a Porodua, and asking from 72 to 77,000. So now the buyers are getting a bit excited at the same time, very confused. And uh, some are saying, why is it Porodua launch a vehicle and it's so cheap at 72 to 77? And the Proton X70 is so expensive at 99,000 to 123. Well, let's just stop for a while, yeah? To be, to be fair, I would not compare, I, I wouldn't compare the X70 against the Porodua Arus. Uh, why? Because, well, the X70 is a different kettle of fish. Uh, in terms of weight, uh, the X70 is 1.6 tons. And uh, if you look at the Arus, it's 1.3 tons. So that 300 kilos makes a lot of difference in terms of size and also the engine of course for the x70 is 1.8 liter turbo it gives you 181 horsepower that's a lot more than what the arrows uh, can give you okay so if you want to buy a much bigger and a more powerful suv then uh, you should maybe look at the proton x70 but you cannot, you shouldn't compare the X70 versus the Arus. That's not fair, okay? Because it's they're, they're different vehicles. But if you want to compare the Arus versus the Toyota Rush, you may have a case. Uh, of course, by now you would know that the Arus and the Toyota Rush are made in the same factory, okay? They are assembled in the Poroda factory in Rawang, Saranda area. Okay. So they are basically, uh, well, Toyota owns Daihatsu, okay, and UMW Toyota also has a stake in Porodua. So that's how the, the sort of uh, marriage or convenience comes in here. And uh, it's no coincidence so uh, that the Rush and the Arrows share the same platform. Basically, the two cars are made from the same mold. That means they both have the same 1.5 liter engine. They both have the same four speed uh, automatic transmission, the same chassis, same parts, okay? Engine and gearbox. And the main body is the same. It's the same. They're made in the same factory. So, Toyota is always the premium model compared to the Daihatsu. And the Daihatsu is actually what the uh, Porodua is based on, yeah? So, the pricing is 72000 from the lowest model versus 90, I think it's 93000 92000 for the Rush. And 77000 for the high-spec uh, Arrows. And another 5000 on, so it's about 90, between 97 and 98 for the Rush. Now that means there's a 20,000 ringgit difference between the two cars and specs wise there's not much difference a uh, bit of trim here different a bit of trim there different of course knowing that there is a $20,000 price difference you would also know that uh, some of the specs uh, some of the costs will be slightly different yeah so if you look at the rush uh, grills and parts they are they look they are more premium okay 
and uh, I don't know uh, even the the seed material there might be differences but it's hard for us to tell as laymen but there is a twenty thousand dollar price difference and of course uh, why would you buy a rush versus arus or why would you buy an arus versus a rush mechanically not much to tell between the two uh, in terms of specs they have all the safety stuff in both uh, and of course the toyota has one little additional item which is the 360 degree camera and maybe a few others in terms of uh, cosmetic looks material aside they look a bit different okay but if you look very closely you can see that they're built on the same frame and uh, same that means like from the same family lah. so why would you buy a toyota over uh, arus i mean uh, the toyota rush over the Prodo arus or why would you buy the arus over the rush basically if you ask me uh it all depends so if you're a what do you call a loyal Prodo customer and you gone through the whole range of Prodo cars as they grew you know they grew from the little kanchil until today and uh, if you are happy with the service and the past backup which is actually quite good then uh, maybe you want to continue okay because you've had a good customer experience you want to continue buying a Prodoa but if you on the other hand if you had you if you are a Toyota supporter a fan you know and uh, you have had very good experience and you're familiar with the Toyota people then you might want to pay the 20,000 ringgit difference to buy a Toyota because uh, in terms of perception uh, a Toyota is a Toyota, a Porodo is a Porodo each have their own what you call level of um, esteem yeah so uh, none of them are bad brands they're both very good brands so it's all actually up to you okay so that's it uh, but of course you have to test drive both the cars you got to have a look at what you like what you don't like you know uh, and the exterior looks are slightly different so you have to find the one that appeals to you and of course if you are constrained by your pocket then the choice is very obvious no? you go for the cheaper one because both cars perform about the same so that's it folks and don't forget to subscribe bye